Hey, good evening. Oh, my sound isn't working. Hold on. I can hear you. Can you hear me? It was me. Okay, there you go. <laughs> it, uh, it might just be us tonight. Okay, well, <laughs> um, I was just looking to be reminded of who is coming. I don't think anybody's coming. The okay, only, so it was just a discussion of the per, the application or whatever. Correct. Correct. Yeah. I just wanted to give people an opportunity to ask questions, if they had any, um, or, or and or things that I can try to pass along. But um, you know, my read my read on the application is that we don't have much of a role to play. Um, I mean, other than notifying people. Yeah, which is kind of what I try to do. <laughs> do you think the outreach needs to be done to the block? I mean, you know, the, the question becomes, do you fly or something like this? But, even, but if you did, to what, to what purpose? I mean, the, the, the teachers, you know, are going to make their case to DDOT. DDOT's going to evaluate how many um, permits they're willing to give them. And okay. then kind of a plan they want to see for more, you know, for a more long term, you know, what are you going to do to help cut back on this? Um, and then people are going to start parking, you know, they're going to, be able to park in the neighborhood that. right like the signage isn't going to change it's just that the volume of cars is going to increase which some people may or may not notice it, it, and it would be effectively i would think during business hours so from, right it's i was like 8 10 to or like the core of people are there from like 8 to 4 or something i would think in which case most people so they're leaving as most people are well i shouldn't say most but you know as as many people are getting home from work they're leaving and they're coming in after, you know, so I would, I wouldn't think it would be very noticeable, except maybe on a street cleaning kind of day. And it's harder to find a spot. Yeah. When you're, you know, when you've got less, you know, you're trying to park on one side or another, that, you know, that could be a thing, but they don't, I don't, I don't see how DDOT is going to care. Um, well, I mean, in my experience, DDOT just does what they want to do based on their just internal yeah. decision making process and that de often does or does not <clears throat> once they've made the decision it's too late to reverse it so correct and and i don't see that they have any special at this point anyway i mean i think the program is too new um they might look for feedback later on about what we're seeing i, I i've spoken with ken about kent about this a couple of times because he reminded me that this particular neighborhood was sort of late to the conversion uh, to, you know, the two hour RPP zone. Oh, yeah, you used to, there's not many locations in Parkview where you can two hour park, right? If you're not a resident. Well, now, now it's the whole two, it's two hour on one side and one and, and not none, none oh. the other. So there's that. But the, but the original program before the, the resident only even existed, the, the, the blocks were able to petition in and it took quite a long time for most of Parkview. Oh, uh, right, right. And he said that often what would happen is that the teachers would, would come into a particular area, they'd park on that block, the, the, the neighbors would notice. And so they'd petition. And so they'd be, and then one by one, all the blocks okay. fell uh, around yeah. the school. And so then we got to the point where the you know the teachers had to park on site. And Is there the, any opportunity for 1A to weigh in to DDOT about what our a recommendation might be? Or is I mean, in the, I would say as a long term prospect, we could weigh in. We could weigh in whenever we'd like. Um, I mean, I think like I'm just saying this particular program. I don't think there's going to be much that we can say on any any one school. Okay. Yeah, that was more sort of my question. Is like someone had written to the listserv and I didn't recognize their name but they seem to know a lot about it my uh ss oh I think it's Sarah Sorcher I think she's a oh okay oh is this on the um is it was this on the Parkview listserv and it was the oh, most okay. I had on new I learned from it uh from her post but she says that Park Parkview has uh Bruce Monroe Parkview has 27 spaces for more than 85 employees yeah um I guess my question though would be it says the school has been approved for up to 30 permits. Okay, well, there you go. I guess and that. as part of our sustainable transportation plan, does she work there? She is, a, she's part, of, she's on the PTO, I believe. That makes sense. Okay. Um, and then that's going to be reduced by 10% every year. I'm, that was why I'm asking about weighing in, Michael, because I just don't want to get it. I, 
I want to make sure we're encouraging people to get there lots of ways because we're right by two metro stations. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and you know, Sarah would remember, of course, though, that they made changes to the school that made the parking lots even smaller. And that was kind of, yeah. you know, I, I believe that that was part of the problem that may have been pointed out when they started making the changes that, you know, oh. you're taking up all the spots where you're going to park, you're not going to fit. And then they still, they, you know, they right now they double park themselves in. Uh, and yeah, that's what it says. Yeah, I mean, that stinks. So. Yeah, no, it's not. I mean, it's not a great situation, but I, you know, I go by Tubman and it's not great over there either. So. Um, I'm sure it's not. It's probably worse. Yeah. Anyway, I, I did see I see someone has joined. Um, oh. you know, tonight we're we're just talking about or I'm giving an opportunity for people to come and ask any questions they might have had about the oh. application for um, Bruce Monroe Elementary School. Yeah. Bruce Monroe at Parkview Elementary School uh, in their application for uh, additional parking permits, residential parking permits in the in the neighborhood. So, if you came tonight to talk to hear about that or to talk about that, feel free to raise your hand and we'll we'll let you speak, um, and we'll we'll go from there. But if you only came to listen in, then it's probably just going to be Christina and I talking for a couple of minutes. <laughs> I reckon it's Brad. He's got his hand raised. Brad's running for one EO one. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I I didn't recognize Brad's name, so actually I'll go ahead and elevate Brad. <laughs> and you know, actually, while we're doing that, I, I may pull up the the park view because I did not see uh, Sarah sarah's posts so you had written into the park view to yeah. alert everyone yeah you cc'd me and then you. she responded replied all and that was the most i'd ever learned on the matter all right i will uh, i will look at that because i hey brad hey good good to see you both hi <laughs> yeah hi um yeah i thought i would uh mostly just listen if that's all right and um you know trying to get educated on all the, the current status of all the issues uh, in the area um i don't know if, if that's also if it's weird to have an observer that's fine too and we can no 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 it's usually not just us so <laughs> yeah this yeah it's just the two of us tonight well, i mean anybody could have joined but the the only topic was um i don't know if you heard what i was saying before uh ooh, ooh, I almost hit the wrong button there, sorry. Um, so the, the topic was that the Parkview Elementary School applied for a new program within DDOT. They'll be, um, get, they'll be, they're going to be issued permits so that they can park in the neighborhood instead of having to be on school grounds. And so there's not a whole lot of opportunity for the ANC to play a role is my kind of understanding, but I, I wanted to give the neighbors an opportunity mm -hmm. to come forward and say, hey, you know, these are our questions or these are our concerns and, and then I can pass them on to the folks at DDOT. But um, Christine, Christina was already kind of explaining because I, I there's an email that I haven't seen yet uh, that is kind of gives a little more detail about the number um, the number of permits that are being issued and the fact that it will reduce. So you're saying, um, Christina, 10% every year down to down to what it didn't say it just okay. says they're issuing 30 permits to start and as a part of their sustainability plan for the school staff they're going to reduce by 10 percent every year but yeah does that mean down to zero that's a good question and it doesn't sarah doesn't specify in her email from the pto so yeah and now that, that that's a good thing i could follow up with the um the staff on to, is to ask you know what if the reduction is 10 percent per year what does that go down to Right. And I'm, but I'm also going to make an assumption that they will also have an opportunity to apply for an extension in that, you know, that's usually part of the process as well. So you're saying this is a new program for DDOT? Yeah, this is the first, this that's is what the I first that schools are able to apply for it. And this is, I think this has been coming for some time. I remember I Kent mentioning it long ago. Yeah, Maybe because it's, it's been a it's been an ongoing dilemma where you know in some cases neighbors who are um, on these PTOs are giving the, the 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 teachers their visitor parking permits, and so I'm sure, of course, with the update of the visitor parking program, where now you have to apply and, and have this it doesn't office. work anymore. Yeah, <laughs> you can't you can't just hand them that piece of that placard anymore. So that mm -hmm. this is this was a way to kind of address that too. Um, and as you were saying, as Christina was kind of saying. I think the ANCs could certainly weigh in in the future on how it's going, if we're seeing any problems or things that they could try to work on. But 
you know, just like a, a new liquor license application, until there is an actual thing that you can point to, there's not a lot you're, that the boards are going to do about it. Uh, can I ask a question? If that's please, all right? Um, yeah. So I lived on Newton uh, in the 400 block, kind of right, you know, visible to the school for the better part of eight years, and I was just over there uh, this evening, going door to door and got an earful from a few neighbors on this issue, actually. Even oh, though, okay. Uh, so there might be some interest in commenting. Um, uh, uh, and I don't know the source, and it's a fair amount of rumors. So I'm just kind of passing on what I heard from folks in the neighborhood. But they said there was, quote, an email that mentioned someone from the school saying, so there's all those new parking spots on Park Place uh, as a result of the narrowing, um, you know, dozens of new spots. Uh, and someone from the school supposedly said that that was too far away from the school for the teachers to park, they needed to park closer. And so some of the neighbors on Newton were concerned that kind of they would get bumped over to park place mm. if, uh, if, if teachers got permits to park uh, in the immediate vicinity of, of the school, particularly on street sweeping days. So that, that is what I'm hearing on the street. <laughs> I, will, I will say that I have also heard, because um, we did, in the negotiations of, you know, what were we going to do with the park place additional parking? Because it's it was clear to us from the get go that the northern section was the least needed, at least at the time. You know, there we don't actually need those additional spaces at the northern end. However, we knew that this was coming, uh, and so it made some sense that okay, well, given that there was going to be a future need, we we might as well continue on with the with parking as being the the, the, the path. Uh, we did kind of say to some of the st staff members this that would be the place we would really love to see the teachers kind of flock to. Um, but we did get kind of some pushback. Oh, well, that might be too far. <clears throat> it, unfortunately, the program doesn't give any kind of specificity as to where the parking is allowed. Once yeah. you get the permit, yeah. you can park wherever you need to park. Okay. Uh, so it's they're they're not going to be kept to any one place. In fact, if you read the email that I, I posted, mm -hmm. they were thinking that they would be given uh, the opportunity to park both in Ward 1 and up in Ward 4, which right. I think is a little bit big. <laughs> but yeah. um, we'll, we'll see. But I, I think so to answer, I think if I've answered your question, I think everything you said is actually correct, okay. but it's not necessarily going to impact, you know, they're going to be able to park where once they get these permits, they're going to be able to park wherever they can find a spot. Yeah, and I, I did, you know, I didn't take a position on the issue, um, but I did mention, and yeah, maybe it was your email you know, that said, um, you know, kind of, this is during school hours, um, and, and a lot of the teachers actually get there quite early, probably before many folks in the neighborhood even depart, so their teachers would kind of already be getting the, the dregs of parking in the neighborhood, most likely, so um, kind of when I said that, I would say probably of the four people who mentioned it to me, three said, oh, well, then that's not a big deal, so yeah. Um, just you know, and and of four. So, uh, but but uh, yeah. The, but in the end, wouldn't they just get a one A parking pass? And there's nothing more specific than one A. Yeah, I would. I would. You're probably. Oh, again, I, I haven't. You know, let me ask. The, there's no I'll like. Ask them the question. What does the permit look like? Yeah, because unless they're going to create a new type of per, a new zone, and then that is new signs. I, they're not. I'm, and I'm, so then it's got to just be akin to a visit or a, uh, whatever a, a residential, an RPP is, you know? So you're is it right. I would, I would expect it to say 1A, keeping in mind that a 1A permit, technically you can park up into Ward 4 on a couple of those blocks because okay. they're those signage up there will say zone 1 slash 4, zone 1 and 4. Because it's a buffer. Yeah, the buffer. So they, they would, so in theory, they're in Ward 4, but they're in the buffer zone only. So it's probably just like what you get a visitor's permit for. I, I think it's at least a question that I can send to them. Because hey, if it's here. Ward 1, that's actually a pretty valuable parking permit. Well, well don't, don't forget on Wednesday, on Thursday, no, sorry. On Friday, I have to testify in front of the council about the fact that they want to shrink those borders. Oh, down. yeah. And, and, and our, you know, the one, one A's feeling on this is that while we, we support them coming up with a smaller zone, um, we do not think that they should follow the A and C borders as the, as the borders. So that, you know, that will play a role in, in how this kind of moves forward in the future. Yeah, because one E is weird. Like it's mm -hmm. got a tail. 
yeah, it doesn't make any sense. And so it's like, uh oh, I can only park on this one little. Yeah, in that one strip, and, and then every ten years you got to reissue my parking permit. It doesn't make it doesn't make a lot of sense, and we of course were very involved in redistricting, right? And I can tell you that no one looked at parking, you know, uh, yeah, right, as they're coming up with zone boundaries. That's just or should you? Work. So yeah, we'll um, we'll see where that. I know, I think that's DOA. But um, whose bill was that? Do you it's, recall? It's Henderson's, Christina Interesting. Henderson's. Bill. Okay. Um, she's I, think at she's two, I think it's her and Pinto. So the two newer oh. uh, council members, they, they, you know, they're like, let's touch the third rail of DC politics. I guess. <laughs> Parking. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so we'll see. I mean, I, I would hope I've seen, and you've probably seen them on, online, Christina, that um, Tony Williams. Mayor Tony Williams many years ago had come up with a whole new zone system mm. uh, with uh, maybe there were 40 of them I think there were a lot <clears throat> so there have been there has been work done on smaller zones that you would just put in place and then leave in place and it had to do with sort of the where the parking is where the people who have too much you know there are only certain parts of the city where there are more permits than there are spaces that's in right. ward one and ward, in most of ward one parts of ward six and then a little bit out into the into the others but if you really could just can get that your hands around those two areas of, of ward one and ward six you'd solve most of the most of it but as kent would say the problem that happens and where Brad is will soon be in charge uh, is that people in the uh, northern Ward Four will drive down to the metro station, park yeah. around the metro station, and then Near Ward, yeah, yeah, and so they're, they're trying to cut back on that as much as they can, which makes sense. That's legit. But I don't. You don't need a one E to fix that for you. One E would be a her like it's not the only one that's no. like a, a no. horrific. The little, yeah. Yeah, the little tooth we added from one, the, the northern section of what is right now 1A that will become 1D makes no mm -hmm. sense for them to get 1D permits. They're all gonna be over in 1A. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, back to any other thoughts? Or, so the two, the two things I can go back to them is the down to what number would the reductions be? And then oh, what, yeah. what would the actual permit look like? Um, in terms of what it's going to say, is it going to say one A? Is it going to say Ward One? Is it going to what is? These it? are not deal breakers. It's just good to know. No, no, yeah. Oh, and I, again, yeah, it's not our I, deal to break. So it's, it will not be. That is, as you have said, they will do what they want to do. They do listen to us. I mean, if you know, if you get in there early enough, the school is going to. So the school has been approved for. I'm just reading now from Sarah's email. Up to thirty permits, and as a part of the stamp of cushion, the number will be reduced to ten percent each year. And, and although she does make, I will say she makes one invalid point, which is the moving of the cars every two hours. You because cannot, there's no two hour zones. And it, it, well, it wouldn't matter. You, that's just not doable. Um, when you move within a zone. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. You have to leave the zone. So. And I, sorry to. No, no, please. I mean, uh, you know, having spent a lot of time on Newton Place over the years, particularly during the pandemic, during the day. Teachers are not moving their cars every two no, hours. No, how are they getting out to go search yeah, for an hour yeah, for parking? Yeah, I, I, uh, that to me seems like maybe a little bit of uh, emotion creeping in uh, above facts. That's just not a thing that happens. So very good. Mm -hmm. um, well, do you want to talk next agenda really quick? Because we're not meeting in December, right? Um, well, that's up to, I mean, it, if you think there's anything to meet on, it, it sounded like, um, it sounded like 14th Street and Georgia Avenue are, are going to move forward and we're not going to get the next real round until the new year. So yeah, and we won't even hear about 14th Street ever again. Yeah, that'll, that will be 1A to deal with that and we'll right. just focus on Georgia Avenue. Um, they did, they did kind of say that they were interested in what our, I'm sorry, I'm back on 14th. So on 14th Street, they're, they are interested in if we'd liked um, option A, B, or C. I'll be frank, I don't care about any one of the three. I only care about the islands. <laughs> and as not, long as they don't redo lower 14th on upper 14th, I don't have a strong opinion. Yeah, I, it's just that, I, that if they're going to do these islands, and, and maybe that's a letter I can just send on my own and the, they'll take it into account for do the Do you next. want a resolution on it before you go uh, to this? Not, not, 
it's not high on my list, but if, if, if people felt strongly about it, I mean, that would be the only statement I would make to them formally. And Brad may not have seen any of this, but um, if they're gonna use islands, these would be uh, bus loading islands on 14th Street, on Northern 14th, so north of Newton Street, up near the, the Ward 1, Ward 4 borders, um, they would start to use these, these loading islands like they have on 14th Street down in Ward 2. Um, I would want them to not place them on the, the leading edge of an intersection. They should be on the far edge of the intersection so that <clears throat> a cyclist is entering the island, not exiting the island into the intersection. You're entering behind this island because that co creates this um, blind spot if, for people making right-hand turns. So if you click, uh, Brad. Yeah, technology. And then go to concept design presentation if you're interested in learning. Although yeah, it's not A and C one A anymore as of the first of the year. Yeah, it'll that be. was the presentation they gave to us. Was okay. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for seeing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I mean, that would be the only the only comment I think that's worth making at this stage is is that they should do that. And I've said this to everybody that will listen, including the council members' office. So hopefully, they're pushing it as well. Um. I, the only thing I also can think of is that, is it 1B, his name's Max Ewart, wanted to talk about 15th and Euclid. I thought that the head ship had sailed. Am, Me too, so like I keep writing and I hadn't heard back, but again, not going to be our 1B. Yeah. For the purpose of this call, the three of us at least won't be on that anymore. So Yeah, so I, I, I would let them, I mean, I agree with him that they should rethink that section of 15th Street, but that's probably a little further outside of what we're, we've got time to work on. Yeah. Oh, we, we didn't, I guess we didn't mention, um, not that anyone's here to see it, but maybe they'll watch the recording later, but 11th Street sounds like that's mm -hmm. going to progress as a protected bike um, infrastructure, uh, but that will, they'll start having those meetings with those ANCs, I'm assuming sometime early next year. They've already presented to 1B maybe, I think about it. Okay. So I hope they keep working their way through. Well, and if they, and now, so that would be the thing. If they did want to come back, so maybe that would be the thing to reach out on, uh, Christina. Is to if, Mignon. If, to Mignon, yeah. If she wants to talk to 1A, i.e. us. Before year end. <laughs> before the year end, yeah. then, you know, um, a meeting here in November would be the time to do it. Otherwise, you know, we're all, they're going to all turn into pumpkins and they can talk to the, to the, next, the next set of folks. I think, so um, Santi forwarded me their 1B email, which I do think it says they're going to do outreach for the rest of us. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll ping her about it. Yeah, that makes sense. Is that still 1E? I don't have the map, map in my head anymore. No, no, one, no that'll, that'll That's also, 1A also. be proper. But, it, you know, I wouldn't mind. Let's see, would that be before or after the election? That would be after the election. So we would know who those commissioners are, we can invite those commissioners and they can at least get a preview of what they're what they're in for. Um, and yeah, I, I, I mean, my, might as well. Because you know, otherwise the train will start to leave the station yeah. and, and they won't have an opportunity to really impact where the, where the design heads. And I think our section is the one that, when I say our, the current 1A, current, yeah. um, will have the areas of some question um, I don't think they're going to change the the um, Monroe to Spring. I think they're going to leave that just as it is. Well, that's probably okay. And yeah. then I think through the section that would that would still have streeteries, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they would make those more like on 17th Street or if they would make them protect. I don't know. So that you know, ours has some fluid fluidity to the design. So I they probably do want to jump in as soon as they can. The so 1E goes to Sherman on the west. Correct. And then it's 1, 1A. Correct. Still, yeah, okay, got it. And then, and, then, and then 1B picks up somewhere down there closer to you. 1B starts at Fairmont. Yeah, I guess that's, yeah, I guess that's further than you, isn't it? <laughs> no, 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 none of the new one. I, well, I could be. No, could, I'm looking at 2023. I yeah, oh, you've got it up, okay. There you go. Just because I keep, I don't have it. I don't have my head around it. No. Um, okay, so that's an issue that will affect one A as it stands, but not as it will be. 
And then the question becomes when we get into the new year, I don't know how 1E wants to handle committees. So, you know, that whether or not- That's for the two of you to decide. <laughs> and else yeah, I mean, there'll be, there'll be some discussion as to how they want to handle the committees, which ones they want to have, who's going to head them up and-, and if, Yeah, you could combine some even maybe. Yeah, I, I you know, I, I think we're going to have less volume in general. So it might make some sense to not to have as many, I don't, but we'll have to discuss it. Um, okay, well, I'll reach out to Mignon. Okay. I'm gonna leave 14th Street. I don't need to hear from, do we need to hear from them again before it's December 14th or Georgia? Oh, no, 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 14th is, is, is uh, I don't, I like I said, the only question would be, so we have one more shot to put in a, a, in a letter. I could easily just write a letter so I don't think what I'm saying is particularly controversial, but that, that would be the one comment I think we would have at this point. As on 14th is those islands. And then um, uh, I'll ask about these two questions and you can follow up to see if they can join us, if they want to join us. And I'm not pushing them. No, because they, they might just say November. it's not worth it. What's that? They might say it's not worth it. They might. They might. I, I don't know. They, they might want to get going. Um, you know, they've got funding uh, and that, you know, Okay. This yeah. kind of stuff follows that funding. So they, they might have goals that they're trying to hit and people they want to. So if they're already talking to 1B, then you would think they would want to talk to 1A. But and sure. the, only, the only seat in question um, in 1A is an important one for this particular project. So oh, it's, it's um, body love weight and, is being and love challenged, weight. Yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And that'll, that'll influence how those discussions would go. So I, you know. That's true. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Do you have Brad? Do you have any? Yeah. Any thoughts? Questions? Uh, I am. I am just uh, starting my education on all of these things, so <laughs> I think I'm more in receive uh, listening mode at this point. Right. Uh, yeah, it, yeah it gets it gets easier. It's it's really not that complicated, but and I and, and I think with one e. Our future transportation projects will be limited to the bus lanes on Georgia Avenue. We've uh, already had so many this yeah, year. I, yeah. I, what else is there to do? There's not much. That's just it. There's not that much left else to do. Um, uh, so the bus lanes on Georgia Avenue on transportation, and then I think there are going to be there could be some some large uh, development projects. I just saw three more today. Three more phases. Uh, on Howard, but all on Howard. I was going to say, I think uh, that's going to be the the more discussed area for us. Yeah, it's but it's a question of I don't know how much of this already got captured at the campus plan because if it's already covered by that and that zoning, then then it's you know it may already be um, by right development, in which case there's right. a whole lot to talk about, which is also good with me too. But it's big. I mean, if not, a, we all live here in the northern section, but the, what they're, you know, the growth that they're going to see in the next couple of years is going to be pretty substantial. That's exciting for 1E for sure. And, and you know, another thing I thought about, if I may, yeah. they've been doing um, presentations regarding the Macmillan redevelopment to Ward 5. And I really think 1E could benefit from a heads up. I know it's not in Ward 5, but it affects so many of the residents in Ward 1. Um, and so I think the office of, I don't know if it was planning or who, someone did a presentation to five recently in one of the ANCs in five. And yeah. I just thought that would be really good, you know, early, if you need some early content in one E, that might be a good uh, presentation. Yeah. I, I mean, I can at least find out who, who's, uh, who was doing that and what, you know, what their interest level is. I mean, what do you, I mean, you're obviously curious. Um, I'm wondering what you what do you think the level of interest is along, you know, that side of the, of the neighborhood from the rest of the neighbors? I mean, I think people are, when I lived further South on Irving, I was considered McMillan like part of my neighborhood, mm -hmm. even though it's not in Ward 1. So I do think it feels a part of the Pleasant Plains area. I think it's, I think people are in 1E will make use of it. So I suppose that's why I'm, I'm mostly just curious. I just thought it'd be a good to know. Yeah, no, I mean, if they're willing to, um, yeah, I, we can find out. Right, it seems like the new 1E07 has a fair amount of connectivity 
kind of the edit. yeah right down by the hospital yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's just that there's no people over there. That's the that's the only thing. <laughs> the, the, well, the, only, the only place where where people actually kind of sit near it is when you're looking out across Wangari Gardens, mm -hmm. or if you're if you're on Howard University, which you know the students probably are are not as interested necessarily. But um, you never know. I mean, we can. So we have one. He has the water, but nothing past it. Correct. It, yeah, we 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 have the what do you call it the um. The reservoir itself. Reservoir, yeah, the reservoir itself, but there, there is no development. But the development is past first. Correct. So there's, there's and you're right. No, kind of no one. It's not a densely populated area. No, it's 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 entirely the reason that I wanted Wangari to be in one A. I can't talk about eight. it without getting <laughs> because, upset. Because so. that is that particular piece of the parcel is important to the community who uses it, um, but there are no other residences. In no Park. adjacent at all. So, yeah, I'll, I think I'm going to carry that with me for the rest of my life. It's like a demilitarized zone between the two. <laughs> yeah, I know. I it's so upsetting to me that it's not. Anyway, as a, especially and as a gardener there, and yeah. you know, we go to Brienne every time, and we go to Rashida every time we need help. Yeah, Brad, are you uh, are you a gardener at Longari or any of that? Um, I'm not. I I kill all plants despite my best efforts. So I don't. I don't think you want me involved. Uh, you know personally. Um, I I killed, I killed a cactus in my front yard. I don't Cacti know. are hard. Yeah, but this was a seven foot tall cactus. So. <laughs> <Killed that one. laughs> Anything else? No. Very good. I'm just looking at our, I was just looking back at that email. <clears throat> Great. But can, can I ask one question? I've gotten um, a fair amount of inquiries from neighbors about um, maybe infrastructure changes that would be associated with a result from the safe routes to school. Um, uh, Ludger Ludger Ludger. Yeah, is, is that something that would touch on transportation committee or? It would, it would, because as I understand most of that, although they've, I think they shrank the, yeah, <laughs> they shrank the, yeah. uh, the radius of, of where the impacts would be down to basically the block that the school is on and, and no further. Um, but yeah, I think once that passes, we would certainly want to look into how can we use that um, to force DDOT to, to look at, um, uh, what are you, I'm sorry, I'm blanking out again, uh, Parkview Elementary. Bruce Monroe, uh, yeah. Yeah, Bruce Monroe. Oh, we'll see. That name is supposed to have changed, but I, I don't think they're going to do it. <laughs> yeah, we issued a resolution in support of it, Brad, like early in, 20, in the year when the bill was first introduced. Mm -hmm. But I believe in council this week, they shrank the heck out of it. Yes, they made all of that traffic calming optional and reduced the zone from a quarter mile to 350 feet or something around the school. So I don't know if what's going to come of that bill anymore. It seems like all the good parts were got were taken away. So I don't know. Okay, yeah, better than nothing to improve, I guess, the one half block around the school, but sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, uh, so yeah, I mean, we would, I think what we would then want to do, assuming it passes, uh, is then put together a resolution of what we would want to see. If they are optional, yeah. you know, what, what are those um, improvements that we would want to see and maybe work with the school or the PTO on what, um, you know, what could be done, you know, because I think the race, the whole idea of the raised crosswalks, and these are all great ideas. Um, and would, I don't remember if rec centers were included in it or not, if it's just a school bill. You know, I think rec centers were, but like daycares weren't for many obvious reasons. That was too complicated, but there were, it might have been rec centers too, Michael. I don't know. Yeah. So that, that might give us a little more. That's uh, true. Cause it's next door. Good point. And then, and then uh, we have, so I can think of three schools. Also, again, I'm only talking part view. So the elementary school, and then on Georgia Avenue, we have L. El Hain, mm -hmm. and then, um, on, then the old Bruce School, which has, I want to say Mediterranean, but that's not what it is. Median? No. Yeah, Meridian? Meridian, that's it. Yeah. 
uh, Meridian on, on Kenyon. Um, so yeah, that would give, which would maybe open up some things on Sherman, which would be interesting. Uh, but yeah, I, I would I would look at how we could then use that legislation. The only problem is going to be, I think, part of the. Um, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, but if if it's if it has to be part of a project, in order for that to then kick in, what that more new work gets done. So if I'm saying this right, you know, we already have the bike lane now going in. So that project will be over. The chances that another project is going to happen on Warder Street anytime in the near future is pretty low. I don't know what the what where what's the trigger when they have to, when they have to do the work. Does that make sense? Right. The other thing is I would love an update on when Warder is going to get finished. Um, I, it could be any moment from what I understand. DC um, water is done, right? I, and I heard that that got signed off on like two days ago. Oh, okay. So, so they're done on water. So I would imagine that at any moment, um, I'm hopeful that you would start to see milling and um, resurfacing of the whole. Of yeah, the it whole needs crash. resurfacing completely. Yeah. 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 And then, and then they would finish the, the installs. But um, okay. and, and when I last spoke to Aaron, he, he told me that he, he felt pretty comfortable that it was all going to get done this season, which is almost, I mean, I, it's I almost over. It's yeah. Almost over. Yeah. So they have to get it done quickly. And do you know about concrete on Kenyon? You know, that, that is where I'm really surprised. Um, Me too. I, I haven't. And so if we want to reach out to Aaron and just say, hey, when do we think we're going to see? If you don't know, I'm happy to reach out. I just Yeah, I haven't. No, he didn't say any. I didn't ask. Yeah. Um, but when I checked in with him more recently, I did follow up with him about um, leaves. In the <laughs> I bike saw lane? everybody's posts about all the leaves. In it's the me lane. posting about it on Twitter. Well, and I guess it's DPW. That's what. Yes, it is. I forgot it was dot. I thought it was D dot. It was DPW. I forgot. Yeah. But it's not swept, and I'm concerned about it, Michael, because Park Place. I think Brad and I had an exchange about it. There was all these walnuts. We did. Yeah. And you know, I I like where the bike lane is, but it's along a tree line. So if yeah, it, it's going to need to be cleared. I mean, we are Parkview for a reason and, and it's going to have to be done. So every, it's going to be done regularly. And if I, if someone 311s it, it I, I threw 311 to Kenyon because the neighbors had blown the leaves into the bike lane and they were like many feet high. And I just wrote it again today. And like, it's been weeks since I 311 did. And so it's like, either it's moot by the time they get to it or it's worse like you know what i mean so yeah. it shouldn't there shouldn't be that long of a i don't know what the sla is on those though i don't either it's probably uh, like 180 days <laughs> like, well, that wouldn't be very, that's not very helpful yeah. <laughs> um okay well i'll write about kenyon because that sign needs to come down I, yeah, you, I, you, I saw those posts that they're supposed to take those down. I, I, again, I don't know that they make any difference for Brad's benefit. There are signs on the Kenyon Street bike lane that say that the bike lane isn't open. And obviously, that's uh, not true. I, yeah, uh, <laughs> he does. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, we'll see if they come down. Uh, but I, I, you know, I don't know that it makes a lot of difference. Well, I'll, I'll write Aaron about Kenyon just generally and see what. Yeah, I would be curious if he knows when the when the con if maybe he knows when the concrete's coming or because I did see some people, you know, some people are still uh, crossing in because they can. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Any other questions, Brad? Uh, I think not at this time. No, thanks to you. Sure. Looking uh, forward to. Uh, having you on board. Uh, it, it's possible that that could happen. I guess we'll, we'll see. <laughs> I think it's very likely. I think it's very likely. We'll, I guess we'll see. I, we, should, we shouldn't count our chickens before they hatch. So. Well, what is it that has happened with one of you, like just one person has to win other than Kent? Right, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've gone, um, well, especially Kent, uh, down kind of a deep rabbit hole of election. Okay. So we, you know, in. In some states, if uh, someone is uh, deceased or, or is, has said they're not going to take office but wins, then you know the whole election is invalidated or and there's a special election, et cetera. DC is one of the few places that even if um, if, if someone wins who who has said they're not going to be a candidate, um, there's not a new election. It's just okay. second. Um, second place wins. Good. Yeah. Good to know. Okay. 
Yeah. Good yeah. luck in for second place, Brett. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and then one EO five, which is mostly uh, the university, but I'll, but but includes a number of houses. I, I understand we there is somebody who is potentially interested, but wanted to give the Howard students every opportunity to do it. Oh. First. Um, cool. But th so in theory, all that person, if that person, and I don't know who it is, uh, if that person goes down to the Board of Elections after, writes their name in, writes their own name in, goes down to the Board of Elections afterwards, they could, in theory, if nobody else does, then they could be named. So we'll see how that pans out. So we may have a full house for, the, for, the, for day one, but it's hard to tell. All right, well, thanks for joining. It was more uh, exciting than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I might just be saying yeah. by myself. Bye, I know. <laughs> thanks for letting me join. Um, I have already learned a lot from both of you and, and looking forward to, um, I guess, probably over the next two years, learning learning a whole lot more and, and working with you. So, yeah, Good nice, luck. Nice to meet you virtually. I uh, hope to cross paths in person um, sooner than later too. Same. I think you already met my husband, Brad. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He came by, and I talked him into staying for a beverage on the porch. And then, Great. I think I was like, "Where are you?" Yeah. 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 No, I, I I can attest. He was he was on my porch. We were talking. <laughs> okay. Good. Well, good to meet you. Have a great night, everyone. Good night.